It will start in five, four, three, two, one. Welcome to a new edition of Mortgage Talk Live. Today, this is your host, Marvin Colon. Marvin Colon with Morflex Streaming Services. And today we have an awesome technology and awesome company with their CEO here that we're gonna be talking. We're gonna do we're gonna be doing the interview. And uh, and stay to stay tuned because this is an incredible technology for the uh, mortgage loan originators, and he's gonna give us all the details uh, right after this. And welcome back. And today we have a special guest in our technology channel for Morflix. And he's going to be presenting, we're going to be interviewing him and he's going to be presenting his technology. Uh, usually a mortgage talk light is a very relaxed um, interview type of, type of, um, type of uh, scenario. So we go into a little bit of, of what the company, how, he, how that, this person found it or he uh, helped found the uh, the company and uh, how he built it to what it is right now. And we cover the technology. Uh, what is the technology doing to help you, the consumer, help help the uh, loan originator here in uh, Morflix in our own techno technology channel. And without further ado, I would like to introduce Floyify CEO, Dave Sins and CEO for one of the best, or, or I would say the best point of sales technology, where it will help the uh, loan originator get closer to that consumer where the consumer can apply on an incredible application. And I would like to introduce Dave. Dave, how are you, my friend? Hey, good, Marvin. Thanks so much for having me on. I appreciate it. No problem, Dave. And uh, I wanna go ahead and usually what we do is cover a few minutes. Um, we covered a few minutes going through through the background of the founder or the CEO or the person that started the company or how you became involved with the company with Floy5 and and go from there how how what what is your background and how where were you were you in lending before and then decided to go strictly into the technology how do you how do you started on the on the service yeah, the whole thing kicked off about eight years ago. So my wife and I are uh, we're here in Boulder, Colorado, and we had just moved here a little over eight years ago. We used some short-term financing to get into our home. And then 90 days later, I wanted to get into long-term financing. So I wanted to do a cash-out refi. And uh, I knew nothing about lending except going through that experience. I used a local lender. I learned that my goodness, I thought my first thought was the loan officer's assistant. I thought that I could make her job a lot simpler because her job, from my perspective, consisted of uh, sitting in her Outlook email all day and emailing out and asking for W-2s and bank statements and things like that. And so um, my wife and I own another software company. And so, you know, I was always in kind of in that mode. I'm a software developer by trade. And I just thought, okay. man, we could make this better for all the, the loan originator and the LOA involved. And that was the genesis of the idea. And that was about eight years ago. Okay. And little by little, um, it has evolved uh, into what it is right now. I, I see, I, I get emails from, from your marketing department saying, well, now we had this, now we can, you can do that. Um, and you, you started at the beginning, um, I would say with a very basic concept and your concept for you, uh, for your point of sale is Floyd five, uh, point of sale, sorry. Uh, Floyd five is, it's, it's just a, a type of questionnaire that the consumer goes step by step, uh, a very intelligent questionnaire that the, uh, the consumer, the, uh, the borrower that wants to purchase or refinance, um, goes and um, feels out how how is that uh, how do you guys came out to 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 that point where usually you get the static you know the static application and you fill out the information but yours is more like a questionnaire right 
Right. I mean, like way back when, like in the very beginning, we didn't even have a 1003. So in the very, very beginning, we collected documents and we sent out milestone updates. And then over time, just listening to customers and hearing what they wanted to see out of us, we eventually grew into that, that very conversational um, Q&A style 1003. Where you can say things like, hey, were you in the military? Oh, you weren't? Okay, fine, we'll move on. Oh, you were? Like, can we collect a DD-214 from you? Or, you know, have some follow-up questions. And so there's, it's become, it's evolved into this very customizable, tunable to what the, the borrower is experiencing. Whether it's the 1003 or other things like document collections or e-signing within FlowFi. FlowFi is basically that one spot where the borrower can go from, from doc collection to the loan application all the way through to closing. And how do you got, because I see on your website that you have um, a, a, well, a lot of integrations and I'm pretty sure a lot more coming up, but how do you got to that point where you, you're, you're starting talking to these companies, listen, look at my, look at my product, let's, let's integrate. How, how that process worked out? Was it hard? Um, to get to get to get you know those companies to uh, you know maybe API API with yours. How how was that process of getting all because you have a lot a lot of integrations and probably some more coming up. Um, but how do you how do you get to that point where oh wow well, this is interesting let me go ahead and collaborate with with Floyd Five. I mean like in the beginning it was all customer driven so I think our very 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 first integration was Dropbox. We had customers that say, like, hey, every time a, customer, a borrower uploads the doc, can Flowify grab it and can we also push it off to Dropbox? And that, that's common today, all these years later. Mm -hmm. But in the beginning, that was the first one. And Dropbox made it easy. You, know, you just basically went to their website and you signed up to become a partner. The challenge became when we wanted to integrate mm -hmm. with mortgage technology specific software companies. Because in the beginning, no one would just say like, oh, come on in, you know, integrate with us. That, that sounds cool. You know, like nobody did that. Everyone was like, who are you and what is this regarding? So um, in, the, in the beginning, in the early days, I would just like work the phones, just like an LO might, right? And just try to establish relationships with some of those early, early integration partners. Um, and now it's gotten to the point where I, I think just about everyone in the mortgage tech space either knows mm -hmm. Flowify or certainly has heard of this. So it is a lot easier now. But in the beginning, it was just like, just like LOs. It was all about relationships. And the bigger the company was, the harder it was to get a, a, a relationship going yeah. because that's just kind of how it goes, I guess. So it was pounding, pound, pounding the phones, cold calls yeah. people and trying to, trying to get your... your... Yeah, it's kind of like me with Morflix right now. Morflix, what's that? Well, is this, this, you know, we, we try to be the Netflix or, or the mortgage real estate industry in the U.S. So it's mm -hmm. a little bit difficult and, and especially with something is just fairly, fairly new and nobody knows it. But little by little, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll expect to grow and we'll see, we'll see the growth hopefully next year. I know yeah, COVID just, put me a little bit behind believe. schedule, but everybody else. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I just got to believe and just like, and I, it got to the point where I felt like I was doing it for my friends, like our early, early customers. Like I really wanted to deliver the, the, you know, things of value, the capabilities that they really wanted to keep growing their business. You know, like do more, you know, loan volume with the same staff you have. Don't feel like you always need to hire more. Maybe you can just have efficient software so it makes it you can just do more with who you've got. And, uh, I think when we started, that was back in like 2013, 14. Um, back then, people were like piling on more, more and more staff. And then a couple of years after that, you know, it became a little bit rougher, went through a rough patch in the mortgage industry and piling on uh, headcount was no longer in vogue. And so, and of course, now we have COVID. Exactly. Yeah. So now you have to do, um, you have to do a little bit more with less and, uh, and your technology say, like excellent link between that consumer that
correct? That, that's right. So realtors can come on the platform. It's free for them to come on. And with under the guidance of the loan officer within the parameters, the, the loan officer controls mm -hmm. the experience, but the loan officer sets it up. So the realtor, say on a Sunday afternoon, can come into Flowify and generate their own fine-tuned pre-approval letter. So they can submit their offer like on nights or on weekends without, you know, texting or calling the LO, you know, mm -hmm. late at night or on the weekend. And so that's been a huge hit. And we have a follow on coming on to that where um, we have an integration with DU, um, which is coming out this week. Um, oh, and uh, nice. we recently uh, integrated with Optimal Blue. And so now we're expanding that capability. So if the LO wanted to, they don't have to, but if they wanted to, they could get that pre-qualification letter. The borrower could get it on a Saturday night without any interaction with the LO or the realtor. Wow, that's nice. And, and, and what's that a DU integration is going to look like? Um, uh, the loan office is the only one that will be able to run the DU internally, or we, will the uh, realtor see some type of finding, or at least a minimum approve eligible, or, or how, how is that going to work with you guys? Yeah, well, th there's two approaches, right? So with our DU integration. So one approach is the, the LO and, and her team, within Flowify, they can run DU findings, right? So they can, they can integrate with credit, um, choose they can integrate with ob or not we've made it flexible so you can go either way and um mm -hmm. then you can run to you and get the findings and so forth and then they can work with those findings maybe ish, use the existing pre-approval capability that's already built into flowify the other side of du would be if the lo decided to enable it when the borrower is completing their loan application online at night or on the weekends then if everything's configured just to turn it on, then they could get an instant pre-qualification letter. And that obviously oh, goes through wow. DU for that approval, obviously. Uh, okay, exactly. And obviously, the um, we use in our mortgage operation on the other office in the other side, we use a uh, lending path. And I think you guys mm -hmm. are working on an integration or it's almost done or it's about to be done, right? Now you, you guys yeah, are we, working we with finished West last summer. Like that. Yeah, Wes, their CEO, he's a great guy. It was a pleasure working yeah. with him. Nice. So we completed yeah, nice. the lending pad integration last summer. And so oh. it's great. You know, everything that Flowify collects, we can push on the lending pad. Push. Even documents? Mm -hmm. Yep, even documents. Wow, everything. Yeah, See, it's, um, it's been really well received. Like, I think within the first couple weeks or so, we had over 100 in integrations up and running and i'm sure that number is well beyond that now yeah oh no definitely i want to i want to go ahead and uh, like i told you in the email the other day i, I want to go ahead and <laughs> see if it can get me set up and uh integrate it with lending pad because that's that's our main we really like it and it's it's, a, it's for whatever the mortgage broker need it's just basic no more no less you can customize lending pad to whatever you want but with that that powerful point of point of sales, point of sales, which is flow file and lending pad, is just game changer. Excellent, excellent yeah. product. So, so definitely, I'll be I'll be one of your clients soon. <laughs> Thank you, Marvin. They, yeah, they they work they, really it, well together. And what do you see? Um, what do you see? I always like to to ask my guests, what do you see in the next three to six months um, in the mortgage lending industry? I know you're you're outside of, of the origination part, but you, you, you guys are dealing day to day with mortgage lenders and realtors. What are you seeing on the market? What do you see your prediction for the next three to six months, maybe a year? What what are you seeing right now on the market? I'm probably not smart enough to, you know, um, tell oh, the future in broad terms. Um, mm -hmm. I, I, I do see more of the same, like when COVID first hit, in March and April, that's where everyone in this market was trying to figure out what they're going to do. Um, mm -hmm. And then once people got comfortable, a little bit comfortable with the new normal, I think starting in May, like our business started to go way up and it's been that way since. Okay. And so I think this progression towards obviously more online work um, is going to continue. I think the 
the I, I guess part of who we've always been is we've always wanted to give options to our top producers. So people got to be top producers by following their hearts and their own workflows and figuring out what works for them. And so we don't want to tell them how to run their business. We don't want to say the software works this way and you need to adapt your business to that. We want to give them options so they can stick with their existing workflows. And so I think we're going to see just a lot more of people figuring out what works for them and doubling down on that. Obviously more online. Um, that's why we came out with our hybrid e-closing capability last March. Yeah, nice. We were pushing for that. And we actually, we have an update to that coming out this Friday. We're launching a settlement agent portal. And so the settlement agents, when they're doing their closing, they can come into the portal and interact with Flowify and grab closing documents and send closing documents back to Flowify. And of course, then they can go on to the LOS as well. So, so let me ask you this, and maybe um, correct me if I'm wrong, but you're trying to position the company from, from a strictly a uh, point of sale service to to possibly a full-fledged uh, loan origination 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 system or something something that combines uh, you know you integrating wealthy mom blue so that means to tell me you have ppe you have pos mm -hmm. and it looks like los or some kind of hybrid so you're trying to become um a possible you know full loan origination system where everything is there integrated there is is that where I'm I'm assuming that you're you're you going you heading? We're we're not quite going there. Um, we we don't intend to become an LOS. We really love partnering with the LOSs that we do partner with. Um, gotcha. Encompass, Lending QB, Byte, and our friends at LendingPad. So we're we're happy integrating and 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 working hand in hand with those folks. I think with Flowify, what you're seeing, like where we're going, we continue to stay laser focused on the, the mortgage industry. And some of our friendly competitors are kind of looking in deeper into the banking industry because they're pursuing a larger market with the money that they've raised. Um, Flowify is bootstrapped. We're self-funded. My wife and I own the company. And see, so we will remain laser focused on mortgage. And we're happy being there. And we can we can grow this company very large while just serving those customers ours and staying laser focused on mortgage. Uh, we don't need to go into like the broader banking spectrum. Exactly. So you're gonna stay completely completely focused on what are you doing? You know, the 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 more that you concentrate in and 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 focus on what you're really good, that's where you like you just said you're gonna grow a lot. And uh, well, they, I mean, one more can I say to my, my, my streaming uh, viewers, Floify's excellent technology. Dave uh, has built a great company. Um, thank you also to Robert. I don't know if he's watching or in the replay. He, he was helping us set up the interview. Uh, and, and my little, my little, you know, little streaming service is growing little by little. And, um, and hopefully, hopefully we can, see each other later hopefully next year on different events live in person so i, I will definitely love that we'll see with COVID. And let me ask you one quick question where, where was you operation internally at a at an office or everybody was virtually before COVID, or everybody met at an office and then you decided well everybody go go virtually is that is that what you're doing we, right now or what what was what was it you set up before we had a hybrid setup before, so we okay, we good. were mostly remote. So folks would work at home and they would come into the office on Wednesdays. Wednesday was like our get together day and everyone would come in, we'd cater lunch, people would be able to see each other um, and they go back home on Thursday. And so when COVID hit, well, we just said, hey, stay home on Wednesdays as well. So we were already set up for it. And so it's ah, been okay. a pretty straightforward okay, so. transition. So, um, very when, simple transition. Yeah. Yeah. So when the local government says it's safe for everyone to come back in all the time, uh, we'll be ready for that too. Gotcha. All right, Dave, I really, really appreciate your time here at Morflix, um, inside mortgage talk live. Um, and definitely this is going to be streaming on all the application about 16 apps, Roku, Apple TV, Fire TV, go watch the replay. I usually put a little a, a little snippet uh, for for our interviews in the um, in my my in my social media. 
Um, and I really, I really, really want to thank you, Dave, for, for taking the time and introducing Flow F5 to the uh, Morflix streaming services uh, viewers, users, about 110, 120 millions all together. Uh, anything else, Dave? One last final word? I'll just uh, leave something that's been uh, very popular uh, very uh, of, since we released it this summer was Flowify eSign. So we had a lot of customers who said, hey, can you help us out here? And so we've built an e-signature platform right within Flowify, so it's seamless. Um, we still fully and will always support DocuSign. We're good friends with them, but some of our customers were asking us to build, and build an e-sign capability. And so it's live today, and we're continuing to enhance it and build it out, and uh, people should come check it out. Is that your own proprietary technology or your white labeling something else or is that yours it's ours we built it from the ground up oh, and right. so it's it's really seamless it just emerges in really really well and uh we don't have to you know collect royalties or anything like that to pay off to another vendor and so this way we're able to just offer it free within the platform it's pretty fun nice i'll i'll definitely be trying that once i start with flowify pretty soon here and uh, excellent, excellent technology for those loan officers. I highly, highly recommend it. Uh, it will integrate definitely with the best uh, LOSs in the market. Uh, mine is LendingPad. Uh, shout out to our friends in LendingPad. And uh, definitely great people, Floyd Five. And thank you, Dave, for being live here in Mortgage Talk Live today. I really, really appreciate it. Yeah, I appreciate, appreciate it too, Marvin. It's going to be great. I'm going to be watching lots and lots of Mortflix. Thank you. I appreciate it. And uh, we'll be streaming uh, this interview pretty soon, 24-7 in all the Morflix streaming services app. This was Marvin Colon with Day Sins from Flow F5. Um, definitely great people, Flow F5. And thank you, Dave, for being live here in Mortgage Talk Live today. I really, really appreciate it. Yeah, I appreciate, appreciate it too, Marvin. It's uh, going to be great. I'm going to be watching lots and lots of Mortflix. Thank you. I appreciate it. And uh, we'll be streaming uh, this interview pretty soon, 24-7 in all the Morflix streaming services app. This was Marvin Colon with Day Sins from Flow F5. Thank you.